A court in Hanoi on Tuesday upheld a 18-year sentence handed down to a former head of state-owned oil giant Petro Vietnam in March for economic management violations. Din Le Thang, a former political star and former chairman of Petro Vietnam, as well as his co-defendants, had their appeals rejected after the court found no basis or new evidence to have their sentences commuted. At a 10-day trial that concluded in March in Hanoi, Thing and six other former Petro Vietnam officials were found guilty of illegally plowing ahead with a 20% stake purchase in Ocean Bank in 2008 despite being aware of its poor capacity. The stake, worth 800 billion Vietnamese dongs, $35 million, was then completely written off when the central bank took over Ocean Bank in 2015. The court ruled that Thing and his accomplices were responsible for the losses. Thing was ordered to return 75% of the lost investment, and the other six defendants were held accountable for the rest. Thing and five of his co-defendants subsequently filed appeals, asking for commuted sentences and for the order to return the losses to be overturned. At the one-week appeal trial that opened last Tuesday, Thing said prosecutors' allegations lacked conscience were unjust and unobjective, and asked the court to rule him innocent. According to Thang, his decision to invest in Ocean Bank was only made due to the fact Petro Vietnam's proposal to open its own bank had been turned down. The decision helped prevent the 300 billion Vietnamese dongs Petro Vietnam had invested in the banking project from going to waste so should be praised, not criminalized. Thang argued, Thang refuted the court's conclusion that he was aware of Ocean Bank's poor capacity, by claiming that between the stake purchase in 2013, Petro Vietnam still received dividends from the bank and Ocean Bank was still highly rated by the state bank. He also argued that the reason behind Petro Vietnam's loss was that the group had been blocked from divesting from Ocean Bank and the bank was taken over by the central bank for zero dong shortly afterwards. Regarding the court order to return 600 billion Vietnamese dongs, Thanh claimed that as he had left the oil giant in August 2011, he should not be held responsible for losses the group incurred after that date. Prosecutors also failed to take into account that the investment had generated a profit of 244 billion Vietnamese dongs for Petro Vietnam, which should have been subtracted from the losses. The court, however, dismissed Thing's arguments, ruling that his investment decisions were made illegally without the Prime Minister's permission and went against a number of the government's directives. Ocean Bank's poor capacity was also proven in a trial into violations at the bank last September. Last month, a Hanoi court also rejected Thing's appeal against a 13-year sentence he received in January for economic management violations which caused million-dollar losses at a construction subsidiary of Petro Vietnam. With both appeals rejected, he will be serving a combined prison term of 30 years, the maximum allowed under Vietnam's penal code. Thang, 58, served as board chairman of Petro Vietnam between 2006 and 2011. Before his career took off as Minister of Transport and Prime Minister Nguyen Tan Dung's cabinet and then party leader of Ho Chi Minh City, Thang was arrested last December after being fired from his position in HCMC and voted out of the all-powerful Politburo, the party's decision-making body. In a move that international analysts have called unprecedented, he has also been expelled from the Communist Party, putting his 30-year political career to an end. His fall from grace is the biggest casualty of Vietnam's sweeping corruption crackdown spearheaded by Communist Party Chief Nguyen Phu Trong over the past couple of years. Trong, 74, who took office in 2011, has described the campaign as being at an all-time high. The video is sponsored by Cntronic.com.